Hey there, uh, this is Vargas and I am back again with another DVD update. This is part three of the stuff that I picked up through Power Movies. Uh, just stuff that I had on hold for him and I finally got a chance to meet up and pick up the stuff I have in storage, which is a good couple of months. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, this one might be more iffy, so uh, I apologize in advance. Some of these movies I picked up uh, because I was curious, but uh, the first one is kind of iffy. <laughs> but uh, I, I follow a, a number of people that uh, do movie reviews. One of them is uh, Brad Jones, the Cinema Snob. He does uh, uh, the Cinema Snob movie review series. And uh, back in the day, he would do his on-the-car movie reviews where he would... Go to a movie theater, watch a movie, and do the review in the car with some of his friends. And he still does it, but uh, he does it a lot quicker. <laughs> um, and he talked about this movie, and uh, he said it's not good. And he pointed out all the things that are not good about this movie. And it's about uh, by this director that has done a number of movies, uh, political movies, that have uh, not been good, uh, according to him. And I'm the kind of person that when I hear about the movie, I want to check it out for myself. Um, that's how I discovered uh, Kirk Cameron's Saving Christmas, and I was lucky enough to find a copy of it, and it's <laughs> insane. Uh, he also did, um, it's not Winter's Bone, it's uh, Winter Story, uh, the one with Colin Farrell and Will Smith, um, and that's insane, so I like checking out weird movies, and uh, I, I, I stay away. If there's one thing I've learned in life is to always stay away from politics and religion. Um, but he talked about this movie and I was like, well, I don't think I'll ever come across one of those movies. But I did. And I couldn't help myself. I still haven't seen it. I have, It's still sealed. Um, and it has an interesting slip cover. But from uh, Dinesh D'Souza, we have uh, Death of the Nation that has... Uh, Abraham Lincoln and the former president Donald Trump in a slipcover. I don't know. Um, again, he said he clearly points that this is not a good movie. That uh, this is a bad movie. Uh, but whenever I hear someone say a bad movie and the way that he explained why it's a bad movie, but also he said it's kind of an interesting, fascinating bad movie. Uh, I, I want to check it out for myself, and this is not. To my knowledge, streaming anywhere, so the only way that you can see it is uh, getting it physically. So I'll, it's still sealed. Whoever, <laughs> this, I don't know if someone even bought it and watched it, but uh, yeah, and it has this, I don't know if this is a signature or uh, the scribbling of the original owner. I don't know, but uh, yeah, just picked it up because out of curiosity. Uh, this one is one <laughs> that I'm happy I got. Uh, this is. I really want to get more of these Universal Legacy series. Uh, they're really cool uh, little releases, like book releases that has two discs. I have um, To Kill a Mockingbird in this set, and I have Frankenstein and Dracula in, in this kind of set. I know there's a Wolfman uh, one that I want to get, but this is the Universal Legacy series starring Fred McMurray and Barbara Stanwyck, Double Indemnity. And it uh, has a bunch of special features. It has a movie, special features. And in disc 2, it has the 1973 uh, made-for-television movie uh, remake of uh, Double in Indemnity. Yeah. Uh, so I thought it was pretty cool. I, I like these, these nice uh, releases from Un uh, Universal. And I, I don't know how many they made, but I would like to track down a few more of those. Uh, picked up this one, a blind buy, no, nothing about it. Uh, Wise Girls stars uh, Mary Servino, Mariah Carey, and Melora Walters. Um, don't know anything about it, just picked it up because of Mary Servino and Mariah Carey, but it might not be good. <laughs> uh, picked up another blind buy, a Grizzly Man. Uh, I don't know if this is a, well, it's made by Warner Her Herzog, so it might be like a documentary. Or something like that. But, um, yeah, pick that one up. Uh, 
picked up Freeway, uh, the widescreen original release of Freeway with Keith Sutherland and uh, Reese Witherspoon. Um, I think this uh, this was, if I remember correctly, this was like an adaptation of uh, Little Red Riding Hood, where Keith Sutherland plays the Big Bad Wolf and he plays Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, so yeah, wanted to pick that one up to check it out. Uh, picked up the last of the, the Mission Impossible movies that I needed for the collection, uh, Mission Impossible Fallout. Um, like a lot of these Mission Impossible DVD releases, it doesn't have any special features. That's usually reserved for the Blu-ray, which is a bummer, but uh, I need this one to complete the Mission Impossible movie collection. Uh, another blind buy, don't know anything about this one, picked up just because it has Emma Thompson and Tom Hanks. Emma Watson, I'm sorry, and Tom Hanks. The Circle, but again, I, I don't know first thing about it. Also has uh, Karen Gillan from Doctor Who, so uh, yeah, that's the only reason I picked up. Uh, starring Ralph Fiennes and Gerard Butler, uh, an adaptation of one of William Shakespeare's uh, movies, uh, Coriolanus, is that how you pronounce that? I don't know, but uh, Blind Bye picked it up. Uh, picked up this one. It's a two-disc collector's edition, re uh, digitally remastered, from uh, um, Federico Fellini's La Dolce Vita. Uh, I think I have one of his movies. Um, eight, eight and a half, I think, is also Federico Fellini. I have to double check. And I really like that one. So, uh, again, the name kind of struck a, a chord with me. And uh, I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to pick it up because I like that one. Might as well pick up this one, and it's a nice, thick release with two discs, movie, and special features. And uh, I've mentioned this before, I, I love special features, so I picked that one up. Picked up uh, Quest for Fire. Uh, this is a later release. Um, it doesn't have a cover. Yes, it is. Uh, it is the original one. Uh, with the cover, I thought maybe it was like a remake, but no, it's actually the 1981 release of Quest of Fire. It was just looks weird. I guess they, they rebranded it to make it look modern. But it's a movie from the 80s that I saw and I I, I liked it. It's about uh, this uh, caveman that goes looking for a fire after the fire runs uh, burns out in his tribe and he has to look and he goes through this big adventure, if I remember correctly. Because, uh, again, if I remember correctly, they showed this once uh, in a class at school. Uh, it was a history uh, class, and they showed well, like this to show caveman and stuff like that, and the evolution of man and uh, the prejudice of you know modern uh, ancient man against uh, Neanderthals and stuff like that. So I, I've been looking for this one. Finally got it. Picked up this one. This is a movie that I've always seen uh, with Power Movies and Movie Freak Bazaar. Uh, and I've always wanted to pick up, but uh, I was waiting for a, a two-disc set or something like that. And I finally found this deluxe edition of Rudy. Uh, again, it's one of the movies that I've seen the most on the albums and in flea markets. But I never picked it up because I wanted a deluxe edition or a two-disc set. And uh, this one it, it is not what I hoped. <laughs> Uh, it does have special features, but the second disc is the, uh, the a CD for the soundtrack, so it has the complete soundtrack, uh, according to this, has the complete soundtrack for the movie, plus the movie and a couple of special features that I have not seen in the other DVD release, so, yeah, thought that was cool. Picked up this one, uh, Secret in Their Eyes, uh, with Chulef AG4. Uh, he was in Doctor Strange, if I remember correctly. Nicole Kidman and Julia Roberts. And I remember seeing the trailer, but I never got around to seeing the actual movie. And now I will. And the last one is the uh, special edition of um, Dances with Wolves. I have uh, Dances with Wolves, but it's the original Bare Bones release. No special features. Uh, this one comes in this really cool like journal slipcase. Comes like that, and uh, it's a two disc DVD release, and it has uh, the uh, the extended version of 
Dances with Wolves along with a whole bunch of special features. So uh, the other release, I'm, I'm guessing it's the theatrical and this is the extended one. So <laughs> again, uh, I, I, I like buying uh, movies and different cuts of movies and movies that have releases that have a whole bunch of special features and this one uh, fits that bill. So cool. So that was the uh, last DVD update for Power Movies. Uh, like always, I like to recommend the standouts, and there's a lot of blind buys, um, so I don't know. Uh, the only one I I, I could recommend is um, Fallout, Mission Impossible Fallout. This one really cool. I really like the Mission Impossible movies. They have a lot of action, and Tom Cruise at his 60 years old he still does his own stunts, which is insane, but also kind of cool. And uh, this one was a lot of fun, so I recommend this one. I actually recommend all of the uh, Mission Impossible movies, even two, which some people consider the weakest one. If I use two or three, uh, I've, I've liked all of them, but uh, I know a lot of people that don't like either two or three. But I like them, so yeah. So uh, again, that was the last part of the Power Movies um, discs that I got. Uh, next up, I definitely have to go pick up, uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, the stuff that I have through uh, Movie Free Bazaar. So expect that video. And also I'll probably do a, a uh, alcohol taste test uh, once I finish the, uh, the Clan McGregor. But look forward to that and I hope that you uh, enjoy these videos. Um, so please like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. That helps, I've mentioned, the, uh, it helps the YouTube algorithm. And uh, please stay safe. Uh, I know a lot of things are going back to normal, uh, but still not out of the woods yet. And uh, hopefully this, this shit will end and things will get back to normal like they used to be. But until then, please still stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.